Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gifty Owusu Bequin. Today I'm at the WIT School, which is a really good school in Ghana. I'm starting a new series on YouTube, checking out different schools around Ghana. I'm looking at great schools that you may not know about, and one of them is the WIT School, which I absolutely love. I'm gonna to speak to some of the employees here and check out how great they are, ask some questions that you may need answers to. So let's check it out. How are you, Ben? Thank you. Love to see you. I'm currently now in the WIT school in the hall section where they have music, dance, they watch some movies in here and now I'm going to interview Ben which is one of the teachers at the WIT school. Hi Ben, thank you so much for having me at the WIT school. I'm super excited to be here and it's an amazing school I've seen around a bit and I know it's located in East Legon. I would love to know when it was established. Okay, well um, the WIT school was established in June 2014. 2014. Yes. Amazing. So, wow. Okay. And what is the curriculum that you guys use at the school? Okay. Currently, we are using the Finland curriculum. Okay. That's the Finnish, okay. the Hay curriculum, and the British and the Ghanaian curriculum. Okay. So, you have three curriculums going on. Yes, okay. Please. Can you tell me a little bit about what the Finland curriculum is? How okay. is it like? Okay. With the Finland curriculum, which is the Hay curriculum, we are currently using um, the pedagogy. That is the way in which we teach. It's a phenomenal learning. Okay. You know, the kids get to experience whatever is being taught. They have a feel of it. Amazing. And the Ghanaian curriculum? Oh, that's the general <laughs> subject. You know, you teach and you experiment with them, you know. Okay, amazing. And what courses do you offer at the WIT school? Okay, we currently we are we offer the general subjects, that's the English, math, science. And we do music, Amazing. we do um, cooking, mm. it's part of the after school activities. Okay. We do music, that's the organ learning, music instrument learning, dance, nice. and a lot of fun stuff. Amazing, nice. And what is um, the age that can come to the at school? Okay, the, with the age groups, um, we enroll pre K, that's zero to four years, and the grade level, so that's grade one. To grade six. Okay, so you use grades. You don't use year one, year yes, two yes, yes. grades. Okay, amazing. So if a child were to come to the WIT school and let's say, that, for example, they're in grade three, how would their day look like? Okay, so we have from 8 to 8.30, 8. something we call the golden hour. 8 this, to 8.30, yes, golden please. hour. This is for them to, the kids to read. They have independent time to read. Then from 8.30, we can, 8.30, I think 10.30, then we start the school day, then we go for break. Okay. Okay, then right after break, we can resume class lessons, then we can go and have lunch. We do um, the social skills. We teach them some social skills, how, how to lay beds and those stuff, okay. those wonderful stuff for some years. Okay. But some of the kids, not all of them. The higher okay. kids will be doing their normal um, subjects. Okay. Then right after that, the kids, the younger kids, we, they have something we call guided games. We guide them to have fun around the school. Okay, that's amazing. So you teach the kids how to lay their beds. Yes. Please. That's amazing. At what age is that approximately? Okay, we do that with kids from three to eight. Three to eight, amazing. Yes, and what curriculum would that fall into? Okay, well, that's something we, we've mm -hmm. just employed to make their stay here wonderful that's amazing and it's not a boarding school right they come and go it's a day school yes right yes. amazing okay and what is you mentioned that you do some after school activities can you yes. tell me some more about that okay we have a lot of after school activities like we have the 
um, book bag. That's like a reading club. We have the um, parents who, like the homework club, parents who um, sometimes get tuned, I mean, confused with a lot of pressure with the kids' homework, and parents who don't have time at home. You know, some parents mm -hmm. um, write from work, they go pick up their kids and leave them yeah. home. They can bring them here, we will help them. And when we find out that the, kids is, the kid is struggling with their homework, then we give them tuition for free. We teach uh -huh. them whatever it is. So, homework help is for free? Yeah, no, you pay, but then okay. homework club is specifically for okay. we to assist your world okay. to do their homework. Okay. Now, once we find out that your kid is struggling, like he didn't understand whatever was being taught in their school, mm -hmm. we teach them again. I see. Okay. So, I see. For free. Okay. As long as they're already enrolled in the school. Yes. Okay. Or in a different school. In a different school. Yeah. I see. Okay. So you have kids that come to the WIT school during the day and you also have different kids that come also after, after school. school. Yeah. So there's two type of there's two types of enrollment then. Yes, please. Okay. And we also have the weekend club parents right. who are busy. We know we, we, we have this weekend club to relieve parents of um, pressure from their kids and stuff. <laughs> Okay, I see. And how, what is the, um, this is really curious. So if a child wants to come in, if I was a mom and I wanted my child in, let's say, in elementary to come to the school during the daytime, what is a t tuition fee? Okay, day school. Okay, okay. So with that, you start from 5,000 plus. 5,000 yes, cities? Plus. Okay, yes. cities, right? Yes, okay. please. 5,000 okay. cities. And 5, what we do is we also have, um, um, I mean, daily fees daily fees because if a parent wants their child to come let's say three times in a week we can give daily fee for them to be paid i see and the five thousand cities plus is that per month per year how does that work oh okay that's for a term for a term how yes, long is a term when when i say five thousand i mean five thousand ongoing ongoing I mean, right 5, 000, not like not I not flat. Yes. Okay, got you. And how long is a term, please? Okay, a term is three months, three and a half months. Yeah. Three and a half. So it could be from, let's say, September to, to December. Let's say January. January. Yes. Okay, I see. And when does the school year start at the WIS school for okay. primary school kids? For primary school. Okay, currently we are in our um, first school year. That's um, September to December. Okay. So September to December, then we have January, March, then so on and so forth. And so on. When does the school year end? Okay, the school year ends in um, March. Yes, somewhere. It ends March. in March. Oh, that's yes. pretty early. Yeah. And then they have their but summer we, vacation. We also have a roll-on. I mean, a roll-on is something like an all-year school. Okay. You get me. Okay, so if I so if um, a child wants to start grade one, grade one starts September all the way to March, and then when does grade two start for them? Okay, oh, I get your question. <laughs> so we have three things. Okay. Three things. So that's three times three. Yes. That's nine. Yeah. Nine months. Yes. So every nine months we can. Okay. So September to, to um, March. Okay. Maybe March. Something like that. Okay. Okay. And how is lunch provided? Do the kids get lunch? Is it part of the tuition fee? Yes, lunch is part of the tuition fee, and lunch is fresh because we have Ketra here who cooks. Oh, that's amazing! So it's like healthy and fresh for the kids. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. What kind of food do you serve? We have jollof rice. You know all the wonderful food. All the wonderful. So mostly Ghanaian dishes or international dishes? International. It's a mix. Yes. Okay, amazing. How's your student body like? Do you have only local Ghanaians that come to with school? How is it like? No, we accept all students. All students. Yeah. So what's the student body like right now? At the moment, we have we have foreign kids like someone from France. France, nice. Yes. yes. We have others from Germany. Spain. So it's very international. Yes, international. That's amazing. And we have local students here, right. Ghanaian students. That's also. really nice. I like that's international. So mm -hmm. it's like a nice cultural little place here. Yes, yes. Amazing. When do registration start? If a parent wants to enroll their child here, when does it start? Okay, a parent can enroll their, ch their child now. I mean, like now, because we do a rollover, like I said. Right. You know, some parents can opt to 
bring their kids in, let's say, three times in a weekday. So, or weekends, maybe Saturday, Sunday is excluded. So, okay. parents can so you can roll your child at any time. Oh, yeah. that's okay. That's nice. Okay. So maybe a parent from abroad moves to Ghana, let's say in February, they can enroll their kid here yes, and it's no problem. Yes, I see. No problem. Okay. And I noticed that you guys do hybrid teaching. Yes. Okay, cool. Do you want to explain a bit how you guys run hybrid teaching and what it is in okay. case anyone doesn't know? Okay. For example, um, you know, we have multiple intelligences. A kid may be good with, let's say, um, um, sports. Yeah. Yes, and we have other kids who are also good with, let's say, they like to be calm and and we have other kids who are also active when it comes to dramatize and stuff. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we, 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 we teach in a way that will suit whatever their intelligence is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, you know, not forgetting the other intelligences because we what we do is we highlight on whatever their intelligence is, mm -hmm. then we nature of okay children. so that's what you guys mean by hybrid yes, i see so for example if a child's really good with nature mm -hmm. you make sure that they have the opportunity to go outside to play with nature and that's stuff it. okay that's it. so you really focus on individualized learning profiles i yes, guess you yes. can say that's okay it. nice so what type of um let's say for example language classes do the kids get to explore and learn okay for for now we have we teach french Spanish and very soon we'll be adding German. Oh, that's really nice. Yes. Cool. So you have a teacher that's an expert in French yes. and expert in in, in in German. Yes, please. And Spanish. Yes. That's amazing. We haven't studied German yet. Yes. Which we will start very soon. Nice. Do you know when around you're gonna be starting? Soon, you're not sure Soon, yet. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, and then I was really, I was really curious. So, for example, I wanted to know the student ratio in the classroom. Okay. Um, yes, like how many students are in a classroom? For example, for I think you said zero to four. It's early years yes. here. So, how many students are in that class? Okay, we have one is to ten students, and one. there's something we also do called collaborative learning okay. with collaborative learning what we do is we um, mix the older kids with the younger kids okay. sometimes okay. we mix them together for the younger kids to mirror what the older kids are doing I see. and for the older kids to behave sometimes you know older kids when they are around younger kids they be like oh since i'm an older kid i should behave mm -hmm. because the younger kids are watching mm -hmm. and they Younger kids also aspire to be mm -hmm. like the older kids. Oh, that's nice. I like that. And is that uh, Monday to Friday that happens or just sometimes? Okay, we do that sometimes in the course of the day. Okay. Oh, during the day. Yes, okay. Please. So it's not like a program that parents can register yes, for. Yes, please. Okay, I see. Okay. And in um, for, let's say, grade six, I know it's up to grade zero six. to four and then... Grade one to six. Yes, uh, how old is grade six, by the way, okay, at the school? Grade six, between 12 to 13. 12 to 13, yes, okay. Sir. And how many students are in that class? What's the ratio? Okay, we have um, five students now. Oh, five students, in okay. And five students and one teacher. Yes, ma'am. So yes, that means the kids really get one-on-one -on -one learning. One -on -one learning. Oh, that's yes. amazing, yes. okay. And what type of courses are they learning in grade six? Okay, grade six, they learn the general subjects and we have the languages that we add to what we teach them. Yes, and music and other wonderful stuff. Okay, I see. And is, let's say the children in the early years, are they also getting language like French, yes, Spanish? Yes, yes, yes. We That's include amazing. them in everything we do. Okay, so it's all from early years all the way to grade, to grade six. six. Yes. Amazing, okay. So school supplies. So for example, kids bringing in school supplies. How does that work? Does um, the WIT school provide school supplies for the kids or they have to bring it in? Is it part of the tuition fee? Well, okay, with the school supplies, what we do here is, like I said, we have a book bag. Yes. Yes, the book bag is, um, is a program that parents can subscribe for a monthly um, books and supplies that we provide to the kids. Okay. So if your parent and your child is in this school, you can subscribe. If you are from other school, you can also subscribe. Okay. So what we do is we bring you books every month, reading books and other school supply stuff. And with the tuition, I mean the tuition, um, the school supplies is not included. 
Okay, okay, it's not. So they have to yeah. bring in pencils, yes. markers, and all of that. Yes. Um, what is included in school supplies? I know there's obviously they get the course, yes. they get the whole school experience, yes. they get and lunch. Yes, what is included is the, um, the music that we teach them, the other after extracurricular. Okay, sounds good. Okay, all right. And how does the WIT school incorporate technology in their school? School, okay. With that, for example, if a teacher is going to teach about plants and we have a video about it, what we do is we make them watch the video, then after that we discuss, then we can teach okay. it. So it's mostly through TV and TV, you, okay. Yes, TV, new stuff, computers. Okay, so you know, the kids yes, have we computers. Do robotics. Robotics, yes, that's yes, amazing. Yes. Do okay, cool. And what age do they usually do robot robotics? That's from that's two years ago. That's amazing. You have someone teaching the robotics yeah, for the kids. Science, STEM I stuff. I love that. So here. STEAM stuff. STEM STEAM. Okay, that's amazing. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Is that part of the science program or yes, that's it's after part of the school? Science program. And we also have part of it for after school students. Okay. Can you give me some examples of some after school activities the kids can do? I know cooking is one, robotics. Yeah, cooking, robotics, planting. Them. Music, mm -hmm. yes, field trips, nice. yes, and, and and technology. That's why we teach them like media. Okay. Teach them how to use the camera, how That's to so present on good. TV. We teach them all those wonderful stuff. That's amazing! Wow. Yeah. And some field trips. Where are some places that you have gone in okay, Ghana so far? We've been to the um, Legon Botanical Gardens, the Brick Gardens. Sometimes we take them around Akka. We just mm. explore like adventure. That's really nice. And is there a school bus for the WIT school? Yes, please. Okay, nice. I noticed on your shirt, behind your shirt, it says facilitator, Gina facilitator. Um, why does the WIT school prefer to use facilitator compared to teacher? Okay, okay. like I said earlier, we believe, the WIT school, we believe that no student is dumb or no child is dumb. I mean, there's a genius yeah. in them that we 100%. facilitate or we help bring it out of them. Mm. Yeah. So we prefer to be called facilitators instead of teachers. Um, what would you say is a negative connotation with teacher? What do you think? What's the difference between a teacher and a facilitator? Okay, with a teacher, what a teacher does is a teacher stands, teach the kids, and the kid learns. So teach, they learn. Teach, they learn. But we do, what we do is we nurture what that genius in them out. So you're being yeah. a facilitator, you're working with yes, the child. Yes, working with the child. It's like a student-centered type of teaching. Mm. I mean. <laughs> yeah, no, makes sense. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Makes sense. With the teachers, it's mostly teacher-centered. The teacher brings whatever he wants to teach, but the, with the facilitators, it's student-centered. The student, we help the kid bring it out, then we teach them. Exactly. So it's them. kind of like their playground, yes. and you're here to help when yeah. they need to, whereas yes. it... It's not the teacher's playground, and then you tell the kid what to do and what not to do. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. makes sense. How does a facilitator track a child's learning performances, learning success? How does report cards work? Okay, with the report cards, what we do is we email it to parents because we find it we find that more convenient for parents. So we email it to them. Yes, that's what like an e copy basically. Yes, yes, e -copy. And, and let's say, for example, a child is, let's say, having a challenging time and let's say learning their times tables. Um, how does the WIT school support them? And when will a parent know, get an alert about, okay, this is what your child's having trouble with, this is how we're going to support them? How does okay. that work? Okay, we, what we do is we schedule a meeting with the parents, then we tell the parent what challenges their child is going through. Then we we use the right procedures. You know, we, we sometimes we discuss with parents the kind of help we they can also help the ch the child at home. You know, teaching or teaching a child is not only at school. Parents also have to play their role. One hundred. You get. So we schedule a meeting with the parents. Then we tell them the challenge the child is facing. Then the kind of help they can help us teach the child at home too. Okay, I see. And is this scheduling a meeting during parent-teacher interviews or this is like a completely different thing? Yeah, this is a completely different thing. Okay. okay. We just send you an email, tell you this is the problem at hand. We would like to meet you on this date at this certain time. 
That's good. So that means that when the kids get a report card in the email, I mean, the parents get a report card in the email, there's no surprises. Yes. They already know that. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. That's amazing. And how's the homework policy here for primary school kids or elementary school kids? Okay. So we give them the homework. Not like homework. We give them something to try home to see if they understood what we taught them. So everything that they learned at school, they bring it back home? Yes, please. Okay. Because so I know some schools have no homework policy. Yes. So you guys get to give the kids a little bit of homework to do that. Yes, yes. Okay. Just to test whether they understood whatever we taught them today. Okay, I see. At home. And then do they bring it back for corrections? The parents correct it? How does that work? Yes, they bring it back for corrections, for review. For review, okay. Yes. So for a child who's in grade, let's say five, five and they bring homework home, mm -hmm. approximately how long is homework for them to complete? Mm -hmm. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. 15, yeah. 20 minutes. Yes, so it's just a couple of questions about what they did during the day. Yes. And it's homework every day or is it certain days? Yes, every day. Every day. Yeah. Okay, I see. And is it on paper or is it online? Yes, we, you know, we inculcate both. Degree. It could be online, it could be on paper as okay. well. Because with the higher grades, you know, they are old enough, they know how to handle technology and stuff. Okay, I see. Okay, and is there if a child of a child sorry if a parent wants to bring their child to wit school, and it costs let's say five thousand cities or more like he said, and they don't have um, the financial independence to do that, is there any financial aid for them? Oh yes, of course. If you have a bright student and you're finding problems with the tuition and stuff, what we do is this: you bring them here, then we have sponsors who would gladly sponsor, uh, sponsor that child okay. to study here. At the sponsors are parents or other companies? Who are the sponsors? Yeah, we have parents and other companies sponsoring. Oh, I see. Okay. I noticed that you're a religious school. I believe a Christian school. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, please. Um, we are Christ-centered school. We are Christ-centered school. So what we do is, aside teaching the kids, we're also teaching them God's plan for them. So what we do every morning is that we Every morning assembly, we teach them how to pray. We pray with them so that they can also learn how to pray because there are some kids that they don't know how to pray. Yeah. So we teach them how to pray. And so all the kids that attend are Christians? Yes. Please. Okay. And do you accept students who are not Christian? Of course. Yes. Okay, that's true. And then also for the staff, are they all Christians as well? Yes, the other staff okay. are Christians. Okay, amazing. And then what's, how's the, what's the fastest way to contact you guys if a parent wants to rush and bring their kid here? Like I said, we have an active web address, okay. I mean, website. And our WhatsApp okay. is also working and all our social media. You can contact us. Okay, that amazing. Place. And if a teacher from abroad or from Ghana wants to apply here because they love the school, what, how can they apply? Okay, you can apply through our email address. Okay. Yes, or the website. The website as yes, well. Please. And how can they see if there's vacancies available? Okay, we post on the website. On the website. And they should follow our social, all our social media. And then you'll post if there's yes, vacancies. Yes, yes. Are there vacancies right now available? <laughs> You're not Let sure? Them test. Let them send an email. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very much for having me here. I'm awesome. like, I got so much good information. Thank you so much. I would love to see around the school. Oh, I'd love so. to, to be around Yay. too as well. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So this is our theater. Theater, okay. Yes. And this is kids from grade one, um, entry, and all yes, can come here. Yes, this is for all the grade levels because this is where we do our music stuff, music dance, and the organ lessons and everything. Amazing. Yes. Do you have a music this is teacher? Also if the younger kids want to take some nap, they can also come oh, here. We have see. pillows. Okay. So they can also have Amazing. a good sleep. Amazing. Love it. And there's a nice variety of books, I yeah, see. A lot of Amazing. books for them to read. Amazing. Cool. Yeah. This also, um, when we are having other um, programs like the robotics. Robotics, and, okay. Yes, and other like arts and okay. stuff, we bring them. They bring them here. here. Yes. We also have books. Books here as yes. well. Yes, oh, I see. 
I like how there's a diversity of books. Yes. That's really cool. Amazing. Okay. Alright, let's go. The current this side could be a waiting area for killers. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Okay. And who is the head of the school? Miss Precious Miss Bones. Precious. Oh, I love this. Yes. So what classroom is this? This is for pre-K. Pre-K, I yes. love it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. Learning TV, the numbers. If you want to watch okay. for some fun stuff. See, learn the days of the week. Yes. One. Amazing. I like that we learn about short vowels. Yeah, short vowels. Multiplication yeah. times table, the days of the week. What grade is this? Great Okay, I teach with you by the way. And we're learning the same thing. <laughs> it will have books for them to read as well. Again? So there's a classroom going on on a Saturday, because they Saturday. And these are school. This is after school program going on. I see. Cool. I thought on the Saturdays was just activities, but they're actually learning on a Saturday yes, as well. Yes. Nice. Ooh, this is nice. What grade is this? This is grade four. Grade four. Yes. I see. And they're learning this music. Music, yeah. I see. Interesting. So they learn music in here or in the hall? They learn it at the hall. In the hall, okay. Yes, yes. But sometimes, if you know, we do that in year groups. Okay. Or the higher case, I mean, they tend to learn more. With the lower case, I mean, the younger ones, they take time okay. to teach them I see. the music stuff. And this is great for, this is five in the classroom, yes. like you mentioned before. Okay. Nice. Yeah. This is a house that turned into a school. Yes, please. So cool. Beautiful. Okay. I'd love to see your play area outside. Oh, of course. Because that's a nice spot for learning as well, yeah. outdoor play, right? Beautiful. Really nice. Go. So this is the outdoor playing area. Yes, please. Nice. Is, is this for all age levels. groups? Yes, please. Okay. We have the stage. Sometimes we bring the kids outdoor to have the experience of the outdoor. We teach them outdoor as well. Okay. So we Amazing. can put, put up chairs here. The facilitator stands here then teach them. Okay, amazing. Yep. Very nice. And you have the trampoline as well. The trampoline. Mm -hmm. I see. And how many, do they go out for recess twice a day, once a day? Twice. Twice a day. Amazing. Cool. And it starts and end time again? It starts at 9. 9. Yes. Then we close at 3.30. At 3.30. Oh, yes. Okay, and then there's after school. Yes, after school. What time is after school? 3.30 to 6.30. 6.30, okay. Yes, okay. Amazing. I really like it. It's really nice. It's our assembly point. Assembly point. Yeah. Okay. Well, Ben, thank you so much for... You're so welcome. Allow me to see the Wit School. It's such a beautiful school, and I love the mission that's going on here. Thank you so much. We're so happy to have you here, too, as well. Thank you. You're Take welcome. care. Bye. Bye. I just finished touring the WIT school and like I said, I love it, but coming here to see it for myself made me love it a bit more. I love the fact that they use facilitator compared to teacher, which shows that their interest is really on the kids. And I hope if you have any questions, you can contact them. And thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye.